good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new unboxing video for you guys. Not a typical AEW action figure review, as you guys will see here. We have a bunch of kind of exclusive slash rare slash figures that we never did a full review of here on the channel. And it pains me, but I don't think there's really enough time to get all of it out there. So I figured why not throw them in one big old video, unbox these guys, take a look at them, and just kind of uh, do some comparisons and kind of give you like a rough review of every single one of these. Now, we have all kinds of exclusives. We have all types of rare figures right here. I say rare, you know, quote-unquote rare figures. You have the Shop AEW 1 of 3000 Mox figure. We have the Shop AEW 1 of 3000 Sheeta figure. You guys know how that thing is. You know, they get the shirt in there and get all the good stuff. We have the Target exclusive, even with the sticker on there. It's got the Only at Target sticker right there. Sammy Guevara in the red gear. Pretty cool repainted figure right there. Number 92, you know how it is. We have the Ringside exclusive Tony Schiavone figure. So we never did a review of this. He's got his khakis in there. He's looking pretty good. I like that figure a lot. We finally have our completed AEW Unrivaled 11 Jungle Boy figure. So we have the updated Jungle Boy right here. Not looking the greatest, but we'll get him out of here and check him out. Number 97, Unrivaled 11. You guys know he is one of the chase figures in that set. And last but not least, we have the AEW Unmatched Series 4 1 of 3000 Rare Cody Edition figure. I didn't say that right. Rare Edition Cody figure in the gray suit right there. Very beautiful looking figure. And... The reason I'm opening all of these figures is because I already have my loose version of every single one of these figures. Or my Mox version, I'm sorry. So every figure we have today, I already have these men on card. They're in Defender cases, so I don't have to worry about, you know, opening these. It doesn't matter about the packaging. These have kind of built up over time, and I want to take them out of the packaging and take a look at them, man. I also apologize for the weight on the Horror Action Figure Tournament and the weight on just kind of videos in general. Last three weeks, bro, I have been, like, on and off sick. I've had, like, really bad headaches. I've been dealing with sore throats and weakness and all kinds of different stuff. So just been battling a lot of stuff like that. However, man, let's crack all these figures out of the packaging and take a closer look at them and get into the comparisons and see what all these figures are about. I'm pretty excited. I'm also going to be hanging on to these stickers because I like, uh, I want to hold on to the stickers that we got here. But nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up, crack them out of their packaging and see what we got. All right, guys, so here's everything out of the packaging. You have the Shop AEW Sheeta, the Shop AEW Mox, the 1 in 3000 Unmatched Series 4 Chase Cody, the Unrivaled 11 Jungle Boy, the ringside exclusive Tony Schiavone, and the Target exclusive Sammy Guevara figure. Now, a lot of different things going on with these figures. I'm enjoying some of them. I mean, let's just start left to right, and I can knock this figure out immediately, because I'm just going to be I'm just gonna be real with you right here, man. This figure right here, I mean, it's honestly kind of insulting the way they did this, right? I mean, I have the other Sheeta right here. These are, besides like a little bit more red added to the first version of this figure, it is the exact same figure from head to so all they did was add a shirt and a kendo stick. I think it's a different colored kendo stick and a different, uh, or it comes with a cloth shirt that, you know, the Shop AEW deal. But it's got Holy Sheeta on there and it's got a little piece of cardboard in there. I'm not, I, like, when I put, I will put this shirt on this figure and I'll never take it off. And this figure will just kind of just be on display or just chill in a box until I get more room for my display. But she also comes with the kendo stick and she comes with interchangeable hands. Just a very bland Shop AEW exclusive. Easily my least favorite shop AEW exclusive. Honestly insulting. Just not good. You know and it doesn't have lower leg rotation. I can't, I don't like this figure. I really do not. I don't remember where it ranked when we ranked them but let's move on to the next one which is going to be basically a combination of different mocks as we've seen. This is the Series 5 Unrivaled head sculpt that we've seen quite a few times now. Not my favorite version. Really wish it would have been the Series 2 which I think is the best mocks head sculpt so far. Or maybe the screaming head without the blood on it from the ringside exclusive deathmatch. That two pack. But I do like that we get the unscripted scripted Mox Violence. You know, it's kind of a play on his WWE shirts. He's got Mox spray painted over the top there. Probably not going to remove this plastic, you know, because it's going to sit on display and I don't want it to stain, but he's got his Unrivaled Series 2 pants on here. Nothing over the top or crazy. As far as his interchangeable hands, you get two you get a pair of fisted hands and a pair of mic holding hands, and that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. This figure, you know, it's uh, it's solid. It's just, you know, it's the Shop AEW exclusives, they are all about the packaging. That's what they're all about. They're not anything ridiculous. You know, I have all four of them so far. I have a mental card version of each one, and I have a loose version of each one. And, you know, they're just... It, I just hope that the next one, number five, is an Adam Cole or a Brian Danielson or a CM Punk or somebody better, and it comes with a cool shirt. But, you know, it's just kind of a gimmick. That's kind of what these are. And they did the price increase on the Sheeta. I think it was 50 bucks a piece. I wanted to vomit when I had to pay 100 bucks for two of those figures. Made me sick. The next figure is probably going to be my favorite one in this video, man. It's going to be the Unmatched Series 4 Chase Cody. On camera, it's coming across a little 
little bit khaki brown, but it is like a light gray over a dark gray or kind of like a darkish gray here. Love the blue tie. I think it's a great looking figure. My head sculpt looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Uh, maybe it's just the lips or something, but this figure is really fun. I'm enjoying this. I loved the first version. Now, as far as your comparisons with these, look at this right here, man. These two figures are awesome. I, I enjoyed both of these. You guys remember when we ranked the set? I may have made this my favorite figure from Unmatched Series number four. I can't remember off the top of my dome, but this figure right here is great. I like both of them a lot. I like promo gears and stuff like that. You guys know that you can, you know, pop this off right here and you can put different guys in these gray pants. We have the blue pants options and, you know, you can just, you can put anybody in these pants and I think that's one of the things that really sells the AEW figures, the playability and stuff like that and, you know, you could take the, I guess it won't work as good because you got like, like if the sleeves were white and they match the shirt, you could take this off and it would be like he's wearing a vest with the long sleeves but this figure is awesome. I really, really enjoy this figure. I think it's easily my favorite figure so far in this video. Tons of articulation. You get the upper thigh cut, the lower shin cut, the double jointed knee. He does have his black loafer style shoes on there. I mean, I, I just like this figure a lot. I'm glad I got, you know, a mint on car version and a loose version of this because I definitely wanted it once we saw it. But here's the difference. And I guess you could, you could go a little bit of uh, a little blue on gray action right here. Maybe you could do that. You know, if you wanted to do this right here, you could go blue on gray right there. Give you a different little option. I think that's pretty cool right there. And then, of course, you can go gray on blue right here, which I think is another cool thing. Like, look at that right there. You can go uh, two different options there. So, uh, like, dude, how sick. That, uh, that's amazing. I'm all I'm all aboard for that, but there is the Cody Rhodes Chase figure. I really enjoy that. Again, my favorite figure here. You got the interchangeable head. Seen this plenty of times. It's a really great head sculpt, and then he does come with an uh, AEW microphone, but... Now, as far as the Jungle Boy, this head sculpt is pretty laughable, man. Like, what is that? Let's compare it to the first Jungle Boy head sculpt. Look how much better this head sculpt is. This is the first Jungle Boy. Look at this one right here. Dude, what, what is that? What is that head? This one is so much better. The hair color's better. The hair sculpt's better. And then you have the ringside exclusive two-pack, and it's much better too. Much better likeness. And then you have this interchangeable one right here where he's yelling, which I guess is a little stronger, but this likeness is so much better. I am just not feeling these heads, man. This one's probably a little bit better, but look how much bigger it is, man. Like, his face is much longer. It's very weird. I don't know, but you do have the red trunks on here. He's kind of got like a Bam Bam-esque, you know, Fruity Pebble, Flintstone steel going on. You got the black little flaps right here, which is kind of cool. He does have his sculpted on gauntlets, which is nice. He's got his red knee pads, and then he does have his signature boots that he has, but I don't know, man. Just, uh, out of the three Jungle Boys that we have seen so far, we have three Jungle Boys. I do believe all three are the same parts and everything like that outside of the head sculpts, but I am liking the OG and the white gear much better than this one right here. We do have the Chase version that is going to be in green, but this figure right here is just, I don't know, Brad. I am not a fan. I am just not a fan of this, but, you know, you can switch the head sculpts. I do believe they are the exact same skin tone, so, you know, if you want to plop this on here, give yourself a Jungle Boy with a different, and I guess if this head doesn't sit on here correct, it should, but you could just switch the whole torso, but, yeah, that, that works better for me. Uh, yeah, look, look how much better that looks, man. I mean, these figures are kind of hard to articulate because of his weird knee pads, but, you know, I don't know. Still, Jungle Boy, quality wrestler. I love Jungle Boy. I love Luchasaurus. You know, they're coming to blows, but, uh, you know, I, I like this head sculpt much better. I think that, uh, yeah, I can easily say that one. Now, getting into Tony Schiavone, this head sculpt is not terrible. He does have his glasses on there, which is, you know, it is what it is. I went ahead and left the rubber band on there so it doesn't fall off, but the head sculpt's, you know, decent. He's got his massive glasses on there. We should have Excalibur coming soon, but he's got his AEW jacket on here. Does have his khaki pants. He does come with the shirt. Not the shirt. The big ass or small ass chair, I should say. It's a tiny chair. These chairs that they give him are, are way too small, honestly. Like, look at that right there, man. My chair comes up to here. Like, my chair is gigantic, and I know their chairs are quality, so it is what it is, but you could probably put some people in some khaki pants. You know, if you wanted to put JR in khakis, you probably could, you know, get the JR in here, the ringside exclusive JR. We do have the ringside exclusive Excalibur coming, but you could probably switch these if I, you know, I think these are the exact same lowers. Like, I think they're the exact, uh, maybe not. The pants cuff kind of dips down there, so I don't think they're the exact same, but very, very cool how they all have, like, kind of their own unique molds here, but, you know, you can pop that off right there, and now look, and now I can put JR in khakis, and I can have Tony Schiavone in the gray, so if you want to put JR in khakis, that's completely possible. Dude, that, like, that's what my favorite thing is. Yeah, obviously, if I could buy, like, 77 of each figure and just do a bunch of fix-ups and swaps like that, I would, you know, but not all of them are easily 
easily switchable, but you know, you could put Tony Schiavone in the gray pants right here. So there's that. So now you got Tony in gray. So you know, you could have Tony in gray, Tony in khaki. Can't wait to get Excalibur and complete the look, but oh snap, that makes him way shorter, doesn't it? Good lord. Look at that height difference. So maybe you can't, maybe you can't pull that off unless, uh, I don't know, not feeling it. Last but not least, we do have Sammy Guevara who does come with sunglasses. This is basically a repaint of his first go around. His unrivaled, what, th four figure? And same head sculpt, everything. It's just a repaint. It's kind of like a Spider-Man gear a little bit. He's got the black cobwebs. He's got spiders going on. You got the red gear in there. Got the panda eye and the, you know, the spider webs and the spiders going around. Really cool kick pads on there in the red, silver, and black. But I think they should probably change the skin tone up on Sammy Guevara as he's not this pale. But at the same time, you know, I like I like the Target exclusive version better than the first go around. I think it's a better gear and stuff like that. But it does come with the TNT Championship. I do believe the Darby Allen figure is coming soon as well. But outside of that, he does come with a mic. So does Tony Schiavone. So does the Cody. So we're getting plenty of microphones here but he also comes with interchangeable hands he gets the fists he gets the mics and you know all that good jazz but that is all of our figures man lots of you know cool things going on but also some things that i'm not digging a lot so you know it is what it is but i'm gonna switch tony Schiavone back onto the khakis because i think they're supposed to be near the same height i could be wrong about that but i think they are so that means that maybe their torsos are longer i think jim ross's torso is longer but yeah there he goes fix the height but anyways man i think that is pretty much going to wrap up our uh, figure unboxing right there nice comparisons it's cool to you know knock all these out had a lot of fun reviewing all these this head sculpt's still laughable look at that right there no way man just no way can't buy it nonetheless if you guys would like to grab some of these i do believe that some of them are available on ringside collectibles you know obviously the ringside exclusives and things like that but a lot of these are other places you may have to get them in the aftermarket i don't think any of the shop AEW exclusives are available anymore and you know i don't know about all that but had a lot of fun with the review hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts on all these figures do you you know are, are you a fan of the Jungle Boy head? I think it sucks. Not very good. I still think I like the Jungle Boy better than the Sheeta because it's literally $50 for a, you know, some packaging and a shirt of an already not that great figure. But anyway, I'm getting out of here, man. Thank, thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm getting out of here. Have a blessed one. I'll see you guys in the next one. You cry.